It is 8.22, and look at that beautiful view of uh, Montreal. You're watching Breakfast Television. We're very, very happy to have with us Richard Bergeron. Of course, he's running for uh, the election to become mayor, a leader of Projet Montréal. Monsieur Bergeron, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. Good morning. Uh, thank you again. Good morning to you. We're going to be talking, there's a lot to talk about, and we have yeah. a very short period of time, so we'll get right to it. Um, this is your third municipal election. This is your third time throwing your hat in the ring. Um, are you optimistic? Do you believe that this is your turn? And if so, why? I'm really optimistic. And not, about, not only because of me, but because of the team that I have. Mm -hmm. 103 candidates working very hard on the, at the ground level with the hundreds of uh, activists helping them. Each night we have between 300 and, f and 500 people on the ground mm -hmm. knocking on doors, speaking with people. That is the big difference between Projet Montréal and the three other so-called political parties. Okay, so-called, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that were gathered around one person saying one morning, I want to be the mayor, mm -hmm. and gathering people uh, three months ago. Are you speaking we, about one person we, specifically? I'm speaking about three persons. Three people, okay. Yeah, three people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, we got to get to this. We got to get to the fact that uh, a lot has been uh, said about the, your idea to build this tramway. Some people think, no way, he's out of his mind. We don't need this. We don't need extra yeah. construction. We don't need, there's no infrastructure to build this. The city is in ruins when it comes to uh, construction. Why add another project? But you say, I'm sticking to it, the tramway, I'm doing it. Why? Yeah, we need to extend the metro. The government announced that it will be extended up to Anjou. We need to invest in new buses, mm -hmm. in bus lanes, in BRTs. We need to, inv to, to use taxis with, uh, uh, more, uh, with, uh, to be innovative in, in the use of taxis. But one, one new mean that I, br that I bring to the global offer of alternatives to car is the tram. But it's only one alternative. In a, in a, it's a new tool in the toolbox. No more than that. But, but do you understand in, in, why people are, are up in arms about it? They say that they don't need that we don't need it. Yeah. And you're saying we do. So I want to know why. I, ha I have to explain to them that it's a tool, a very useful one in specific situations. For instance, to uh, to help the orange lane that is used more than at full capacity. What should we do? To dig a second tunnel? No. A second uh, metro? No. That's too expensive. Should we put uh, 2,000 buses between Henri Bourassa and downtown? Mm -hmm. What will happen to the quali quality of life of people living all along these 11 kilometers, five boroughs that, that, that will not be acceptable? And in that case, and in only in that case, it will be the best tool to be used. In the same time that we invest in the metro, in the buses, in well, the taxi, and all these things. That brings up a good point, because you know this, this is no secret to you, this is no secret to your many candidates, especially with, uh, uh, there's been quite many controversial, uh, controversial decisions made in the plateau and my land area when it comes to bike lanes and, and sort of rerouting of traffic. People are saying that you are anti-car, and that people are saying will block you from eventually becoming mayor. Are you anti-car or not? I'm not anti-car. I have spend a lot of time to think about car. what is the car as a mean of transport, as a symbol, as a, all these aspects. I wrote three books on car. I know cars, mm -hmm. but I'm also a urban planner. And as a team leading the borough of uh, uh, Plateau Mont-Royal, we had to, to, have to give answer to the needs of the population and population. But the population will often say in the plateau yeah, well, that they, would, they weren't listened no, to. No, just wait, just wait the, the November the 3rd, you will see that uh, Luc Ferrandez and his team will have a very uh, astounding uh, score. Because Mr. Uh, Ferrandez got into it with the, the merchants. They weren't happy with him when he was changing no, parking no, meters, he was changing direction yeah. of traffic. How do you reassure just, those ju people? Just, just wait November the 3rd at night and you will see that the, a, a strong majority on the plateau support what we did on the plateau because the population had asked us on the plateau and we did it. We, we, we put safety around the schools, we, we, we put greener space, we more, uh, more safe corners of street and all these small things with up to the pianos in the street, up to the art in the street. We did all that. I think that the population of Le Plateau really appreciate it. 
And I have to, I have and to catch a you solution there, for yeah. the plateau is not a solution for everywhere. Yeah. We will adapt our, our policy to each context, each to the needs of each part of the population of Montreal. I got to get you to react in less than 30 seconds to the news this morning about Denis Kadar and uh, Mr. Zambito. What do you like? This has just come out. He's been saying uh, nonstop that he's, you know, he's making sure that his team, everyone's not corrupt. How, you know, that this just happened, but how do you, how will you make sure in 30 seconds or less to clean up the city and make sure that it's corruption free? The first thing to do was to take this decision that we will not accept any person coming from Union Montreal in our team. We took this decision as a political party, as a democratic political party, before the arrest of Mr. Applebaum. And uh, that, that is the key. Do you have members of Ex Union Montreal in your team? Mr. Cote has some of them, and Mr. Cote has many of them. We have none of them. All right, well, we're going to have to leave it there, Richard Bergeron. Thank you so much for joining us today. Best of luck. Yeah. Continued success, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. You're watching Breakfast Television, only on City. Merci, Monsieur.